So we have a crusade coming up. We're still trying to get an heir up and running. So we don't lose the Grand Republic. We are still missing seven trade poles to deal with this. So that's around... Well, ten years for each thing we're at war with. And we're currently at war with Pisa to make it one more. So we'll have to see how that works out. The Pisan fleet has been returning home. But we have beaten their armies now because they thankfully helped us out a little bit there. What? My dear lord, I know you have had disagreements with the Empire and of course you would be paid well. Paid well. With some of the money I would receive from this... Uh, I could be join the ongoing preparations. What? Who are you? What is this? Sure, let's agitate the empire. I've never had this. Empire, how strong are you? <laughs> I'd agitate you any day. Work here. Let's just find out what happens. We are, after all, an empire in our own right. Okay. There was some Pisan army over here just now. No idea where they went. South, probably. I don't see much there. Okay. No, not the Great Ball. I'm not going to Great Balls. We're losing up here. It's both horse that we're losing against so I am not too worried okay there is the Pigeon fleet so I am expecting them to drop off some troops somewhere here I took on more ships oh would you look at that you surrender under these terms I accept your gracious surrender let's bring home the troops a passionate speech. In a passionate speech, Grand Ragna of Grand Prince Ragna of Finland explains how all of us must gather our men to support Melissa, considering for the none of the, the throne of her. the Empress of the Byzantine Empire for long. Now it is time to show. With a gift sent by Grand Prince Ragna, he has managed to convince the rest of the Catholic realm to target Constantinople as part of the next crusade. Okay, so our crusade here. is now about the Holy Roman Empire about 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 the Byzantine Empire and it starts in 27 days well lucky for us we have a bunch of troops right here which we can then send into the Holy Roman Empire just so we get some war score going I will bring these home and stand them down. Or, you know what? Ah, let's deal with these hosts up there. First. So this is weird. I never had this. Wasn't this a different crusade? It's really interesting. So we were bribed to switch the crusade to a different target. Grand Prince Ragnar the Unchaste has accepted a call to arms. Yes, it ha he has. The crusade for Byzantium. I used towards Constantinople. Same time, things are happening. He threatens every single crusader with excommunication from the church, but the crusader continues onwards. Wait. Okay. So the Pope is against this? At the same time, the Pope has made an enraged speech about the vices of men and how the good faithful have been led astray. He threatens every single crusader with excommunication from the church. Okay. What was once a bastion of Christian faith is now desperately protecting itself. <laughs> okay. We are an impious crusader. I did not know any of these things were possible. This is really cool. But for some reason, the papacy themselves are part of this crusade.
Okay. Could also lead for a second to just become a crusader. Look at that, all of Christendom is joining. <laughs> and we are the first. Do we do the most? That's how it works. Are you of a family that still has upgrade potential? No, you are not. Into prison you go then. Been defeated up here by this host. Understandable. We're definitely going to lose the first place here quickly. I expect the first few battles to just catapult us out of the first spot here. And one of our kids is sick, that's unacceptable. We're just sitting here and sieging. <laughs> but the Holy Roman Empire is going to take this. Ah, look, he found a foreigner. Why is everyone sick with pneumonia? Don't we have iron lungs for this type of stuff? Okay, we won up here, so we could send these troops down south as well, but I don't really feel like it. So we're just going to stand these down. They can have a rest. Let's see how much a actual successful siege gives us. If it actually boosts it at all. Not really. Let's go down here and join the big blob. Why not use our ships, eh? Why make it such a slow and long journey? Looks like the big crusader blob is being destructed. Let's send support. Who knows what our arrival might do to the fate of this battle? See how we reinforced just in the last second? The Pope himself is leading, how can he condemn anyone? Okay, do we got... You are the mother of our heir. You just gave a girl who isn't even... Go away. We'll find someone else. Look at this. It was us, our support, that saved this grand battle from turning to disaster. No question, no doubt. That's attached to whatever is moving around here. And forget about it. Set it and forget it. Uh, I will leave my ship so we can later pick up our troops again. I never had a crusade against the Byzantines. That's, that's really cool. That's really cool. Okay, who do we need to break up with? You. Go away. Uh, now that we've lost two lovers, I think it's time to replenish. I can deal with losing one lover, but I'd rather make sure we don't stay low on lovers. She's a lunatic, don't want her. She's slow. She's a dwarf. Fine, let's get the lunatic then. My turn too. Well. Never invade the crazy ones with your royal signet ring. Stuff. <laughs> Is the game... Okay, you have a husband. Go away. Is the game just going to have me break up with everyone now? Is this, this is what's going on? Break up 
replenish. We'll find a new target. And the Byzantine Empire really was not prepared for this. We have replenished a whole lover after losing a whole bunch of others. Great grand victory for us, the Crusaders. We need more castles. Let's pay them back. P pay them back. That's how I pay them back. Do I have this removed now? Yes. No longer owe anyone anything. Paid our debts. Any fair and wise ruler would do. Where are we at? Ah, still in the top 10. Not super good, but also not terrible. Might still walk out with like 7,000 gold or something. Okay. So the King of England has switched sides, it seems. That's so. Maybe they were on his side first. Definitely not alone. But he might as well be. Looking at these armies. Oh, we get one relic out of it. Revolt, huh? Where, pray tell? Where do I have land where there might be a revolt? Oh, there. Okay then, let's get our ships, send our retinue in to deal with these fools. How's our income situation looking? <laughs> it's fine, let's just say that. Uh, let us upgrade at home a bit. What can we upgrade? Can we upgrade anything? Ah. Here. We could also upgrade here. Let's upgrade the university because it's really expensive. But also quite good. Technology that keeps on giving. And let's check through our trade posts, shall we? There was a garrison to bring to full power. Garrison to start. Um. Ah, well, almost have enough money to invest in every single trade port we have. Almost. Ah, our city over here is done. Which is good, so we could make something new here. And you guys didn't feel like it was necessary to follow the enemy. You just kind of went where you were told to go and that was that for you. Okay. Our cousin, I don't, I don't care how he turns out. He can be whatever he wants to be. He matters not. That is that.
Uh, we need a beneficiary. That would be this kid. Why not? to make a vassal out of this make a vassal out of this we can hold what we have all right these are my retinues I don't want to stand them down okay we need to avoid being stressed really need to avoid that take vows Look at that. The Byzantines have scrounged up some support somewhere. Fairly large army moving around. See this? We took this. It was us. We're good. Yes, plus one health. Thank you. All right, so the Byzantine blob is falling onto us. And we have the defensive position and potentially some reinforcements coming in with this army over there once they have defeated their 500 they're facing. Uh, nope, they will not be joining us this glorious day. I'm afraid to look. Nope, uh, we broke. How are we managing to lose at the precipice of victory? is just silly okay the holy roman empire has some sort of rebellion going on where are we at 55 out of 60 okay we're getting closer we're getting closer so we could if all these just built their trade poles we could definitely make it They want her dead. And it doesn't really matter. She has a decent air. Ah, we'll live with it. How's our great work coming along? Is definitely being built. No. I do not wish to follow an artifact with one of our chancellors. That just never really works out. Don't care. Where are our troops? There. Still in one of the larger blobs. But definitely not blob enough to deal with this here. Yeah? Could bring in more troops. We could. Should we? Ah, oh, well, you know what, why not? Let us bring in some more troops. If by the time our ships arrive at home, there's still a requirement for it. Eh. Definitely mine. I mean, look at, look at the nose. 
couldn't tell the difference if you weren't about 38 years younger. <laughs> Let's get him a wife too. Something young. Yeah, costs us nothing. So she's the right one for him. How many troops are we having down here still? 550. Okay, we could stand all these down. And pick us a new troop. Nope, don't know the kid. But she will be this. Okay, let's stand on our troops. Almost no one left down there anyway. And we'll wait for our ships to arrive. We'll rise our troops up here and then we throw them back into the crusade. So, you know what, let's just use the ships we've got. Don't have to wait. And we'll just stand down the ships that are coming back. Sounds much more sensible to me. We'll attach to this holy Roman blob. How many troops you got left, boy? 61,000. Okay. I have a feeling that the Byzantines might only have minor successes here. What doesn't look so minor? Send the fleet right here. To the Bosporus. And then we shall lay siege to Constantinople ourselves. Or rather, Moesia, where they have their lands, their capital. Oh look, we're fighting alongside Pisa now. No, that's the Knights Templar. Knights of Sardinia. Oh, definitely not Pisa. Oh, they're running into... someone there. But someone doesn't look like they're going to be able to deal with them. Reinforce! Quickly! <laughs> That's not gonna work out over here. It actually worked. That's so silly. Stand on our fleet. Bring in our warriors with the siege master leading. Very good. Someone on the flank there. Move up here. Okay, our rival died. We could become close friends with this guy. Or we could become kind. So let's just become friends with that guy. Having a friend is always a good idea. Especially as we approach a bit older age. I mean, <laughs> it's nice that the unchaste 
is basically sired or grandsired rather by the lecher. So it it really kind of fits the whole family history, doesn't it? <laughs> I find these little details enjoyable. Wait, I haven't seen you yet. Who are you? But you definitely get the wife. This one here. Cost us almost nothing. We'll just siege through this here. Holy Roman Empire is taking care of all the war. And we'll take care of the occupier. <laughs> what? How are we at minus 100%? What? Oh, the Pope is... Uh, wait. Can't ransom him. Okay, so we're losing here because the Pope was caught. Good on you, Byzantine. You did it. I am actually quite impressed. That's, that's a lucky break for them. They would have been dismantled. No question. That's really cool. Need a new designated regent? Sure, why not him? He's a kinsman after all. He would never do something to hurt us, would he? Look at all the things we can see. 55 still. Do I inject these with money? Let's just give them money. See if he builds a trade post with it. Got to kill this guy. And we will immediately stand down our vassal levies. I don't care where they are. Lost a trade galley. Biggest surprise of them all. Okay, so who else could we fight for trade posts? We do have a truce with Pisa now, unless Pisa has a new regent. Oh, it's not the long truce, so that's nice. Uh, we could go to war with Croatia, I assume. Croatia, what do you hold? What is interesting to us? There, this one, Trevelo. Treviso. We'll declare war there. How many troops does she have? Okay. We'll just stand these up to make sure there's no chicanery going on. And we do the old tried and true method of clicking the wrong things for 50 million times. And we get the ships. We... Ah. Uh, okay, we split these once. Put these on the ship. Split these once. These on the ship. And these we stand down. This should be enough. And we go down here. And Croatia is probably coming north to take care of us. They are definitely coming north. But you know that game, Croatia, don't you? Very rarely works out in your favor. If ever. Why is this taking so long here? Oh look, blessed Ilva the Unfaithful, 
So now we get something out of it. We gain 250 piety. How you can be unfaithful and blessed is beyond me, but I do not need to understand everything. So due to our lovely coastline that we have built along here, we will see anyone approaching. Nothing escapes us. No one will enter our waters without us knowing. And we will also know the reason why we were approached. Which definitely we do know because we are responsible for the reason. Having started a little war and all. It's just a little war. Wait, does Croatia have an ally? Hmm. What is all this? Guy? What are all these? Events spawned? And maybe some rep news. We have to fight a war anyway. Let's just do this. I mean, it's not really the best idea to go off a ship right into battle, but with these numbers, can hardly go wrong. That's your event spawn that we took out, and now let's get whatever that is. Event spawn do not seem to have counted. But this army should, shouldn't it? Also did not count. Cool stuff. Okay, let's take this. We'll just let them land. Let's raise our troops. Let's combine once they're locked in we go and fight them they don't get a choice in this half the army switched to course unacceptable well not half the army but a piece of the army has switched course so let's take care of these as well. We are fine with that. Look, they're sending more and more. Let's go get him. Wow, we're really fast. He's not getting away. Right, I would suppose that kind of does it. We've taken this trade post, so let us take her capital. I mean, we're going to win in, in just a moment anyway, with the trade post being in our hand. It doesn't count as occupation, that's why I was confused the last few wars. I mean, she might come back and try and retake it or something, but... It doesn't really look like it. Oh look, another son. But he's sickly. Never heard of him. Who? Ragna who? A holy man came to court, being a zealous defender of the church. Yeah. We are totally putting random people trying to tell us random stuff into prison. Okay, there we go. We have won our little trade war. Let's stand on these troops. And split off the retinue. These troops, stun them down. Real quick visual check if we didn't forget anyone. There seems to be some growing in our realm.
and we'll stand down in Venice. Perfect staging area for what we're doing here. And we're also no longer at war with Pisa, so we could potentially, feasibly go ahead and try and take those out once more. Castle of Gibelin. Gibelin? I don't fully know. Let's stand on our stuff. Right, dear Pisa, let us talk trade posts. You know the things you keep giving to me out of the kindness of your heart. Do not have a single trade post up here, I see. This one here, Al Jazeera, Al Jazeera. This one here, because that also gives us a zone. Right, and we do the same thing again. It is a bit tedious, I'll admit. And these down. And these down here. And we'll just wait for Pisa to arrive at home. Well, they do have 12,000 troops this time. But they're also involved in the variation of wars. Yumbino. Only four more trade posts out. Not very fun going for individual trade posts, I must say. Okay, what are you good at? Ew. Not much, sadly. This could be your thing, but might also not be. You good at anything? You're good at learning. Why is everyone good at learning at this juncture? A real quick look for Pisan ships. Oh no, people are trying to kill me. Who, 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 who is trying to kill us? Do we know? It's this guy. Stop it. Oh, this gal, rather. All of these are trying to kill us. do sir can imprison our wife Stop backing your plot. End your plot. Okay, this might be one of those trade pulls that we can't take. As it sometimes happens, for no good reason. Maybe because there's already a siege going on or something? I don't know. We'll have to go fight elsewhere. So let's go attack Pisa itself. A quick look north because we want to be ready for Pisa. Where are you? So oh, I'll come. I don't have to actually be there, I just have to come. 
I'm good with that. If you're good with that, are you good with that? Good. Okay, Pisa is already being besieged, which isn't good for us. Because we want to siege ourselves. Off we go. We can go onto this island and siege something ourselves. Alright, there we go. Where is the Pigeon fleet? Will arrive soon enough, I'm sure. None of these are really good. But we have someone who likes us very well, and that right now is probably not the worst thing in the world to have, with all the people trying to kill us. Be a shame to die right now, anyway. Well, that was a short-lived stewardship, wasn't it? That, <laughs> that didn't last. Oh, damn it. Okay. Outside help, then. On. You'll be our steward. You're renowned far and wide. Keep overseeing the construction there. Let's split these and set down half. Need all these ships. I don't even need all these ships. This is totally enough. More than enough. But I like a little bit of buffer in my life. We are not involved. We're just kind of sieging right next to these people. Let's break up with a lunatic and ask her to leave so she doesn't become an, a, a liability. Don't want a scorned lover sticking around. I think we have a bunch of those already, so that's not that's not ideal. Pizza, pizza, pizza on the wall. Oh no. Our tribal lord died. Let's make another tribal lord. Let's see if he can produce an heir. Our pregnancy. Let's go through our trade posts and upgrade them a little bit because we've got money to spend. And we want to go out strong on this one. Nah, don't want to upgrade these. Sure, while we hold it, why not upgrade it? We might give it away at some point, but for now, we have it. Alright, I think that's it for now. At least in terms of what I want to upgrade, not what I can upgrade. Sometimes I have to know where to start and where to stop. Speaking of which, dear Pisa, where is your fleet? Okay, I, I don't think we're going to be able to seduce her. She's too far away. They have to be somewhat close. Yeah, she's good with diplomacy. Our wife is very much used to being lied to. Ah, look! A fleet has crystallized. But they don't seem to be going north. They seem to be going somewhere. Oh, now they're coming north. How many troops you got? 13,000 still, huh? Okay. They will sail right past us. And we will just deal with this next time. And I I'm, I'm, I'm have a feeling that I'm going to forget what we're doing right now. So I'll kind of stick around here and we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.